most watched weather team, Y5 or 6. Coverage you can count on. The News Channel 6 mobile app is now even better. Download it today. Good morning. Here we are on a Sunday morning. Chief Meteorologist Tim Miller along with Meteorologist Jennifer Tracci as we are watching some winter weather around the CSRA. Your full forecast is coming up. Now on Good Morning Augusta as winter weather hits parts of the CSRA. We show you how one local area is participating and preparing. Plus, Georgia and South Carolina governors declare a state of emergency. We'll get an update from them. And we have live coverage you can count on on the ground in Washington County. Your number one source for local weekend morning news starts right now. Live from Television Park, this is Good Morning Augusta on WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sean Cabbage Stock. Today is the Viper 6 Alert Day. We have Chief Meteorologist Tim Miller and Meteorologist Jennifer Tracci standing by. Yeah, good morning all. Thank you, Sean. Welcome to Sunday. Here we are together as we are watching certainly opportunities of some rain, freezing rain, and could that be a little bit of snow? We're going to talk about that. Let's get right to Viper 6, and I'll zoom in here and show you a little closer. Here it is, southwest to northeast movement. That's exactly the movement we've been planning on, and notice we have a decent heavy rain. We can hear it on the roof. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. So here it is. All over the city, this is bound to heavy rain, as promised. You'll notice, though, the pink here, Appling and off towards the west, Harlem. This is where we certainly have, I think, some mixed in, a little bit of freezing rain, maybe a little sleet. Could be a snowflake or two. That looks, I think, a little bit far more impressive than, than it really is. That's maybe more bark than bite at this point. But Washington, maybe a flake or two. I also think this could certainly be a little bit of sleet. Shouldn't be causing any problems right at the moment, but we'll watch this. This is indeed all the rain that is moving up towards the northeast moving fairly quickly here there's the low behind me uh, it is uh, just to uh, it's in Alabama that is moving off towards the northeast all the moisture is what we have to contend with over the next several hours but the colder air to the north so I think certainly the middle of South Carolina has plenty of rain and some freezing rain we'll get into more of that in just a minute look at the flag over at the airport it is blowing how about more current conditions let's turn it over to Jenna with the latest with some watches and warnings yeah, thank you, Tim. So once again, here's a look at our Jiffy Loop Skyview Network cam. You can certainly see the winds are picking up. That flag is blowing and the roads are very wet. So here's a look around the CSRA at our temperatures. Notice that we're actually above freezing across the entire CSRA. Evans, you are at 34, 37 in Augusta, 41 in Sylvania. So a little bit warmer the further south you go. We did have below freezing temperatures in our northern counties earlier. 34 in Lincolnton, 34 in Washington, so just a couple degrees above freezing with very cloudy conditions and rainy conditions throughout the area. Now we do have a winter weather advisory in effect until 4 p.m. today. That's for our northern counties and even parts of the central CSRA included in this. Augusta and Aiken, you are in this advisory. This is once again until 4 p.m. We have the possibility of seeing not only that rain, snow mix, and sleet, but also some very gusty winds throughout the day. We do have some winds alerts as well. Lake wind advisory in effect until 10 a.m. on Monday. So quite a long time on this one. That's in that yellow color there, and that does include the Augusta and Aiken area as well. We also have a regular wind advisory. That's for our western counties, and this is actually set to expire by 2 p.m. today. However, I expect wind gusts to stay around 25 to even 40 miles per hour even as we go into this evening. So once the rain stops, we'll still be dealing with those gusty winds as that low pressure continues to track towards the east of our area. So biggest concerns today, definitely going to be that heavy rain and the windy conditions. High chances of both of those. Medium threat of ice and sleet and icy roads. And that's really going to be a problem mostly just for our northern counties. It's possible that the Augusta metro area and into Aiken County can see a little bit of that ice accumulation as well. But for the most part, this will be just a rain and gusty wind event, especially for the majority of the CSRA. Now, coming up, we'll have a look at the feature cast and exactly what you can expect for the rest of the day. Sean? All right, Jenna, thank you. The winter weather is impacting flights across the country. Augusta Regional has a few flight cancellations. Look like most of the flights heading to Charlotte or Washington, D.C. for today are canceled. The flights later in the day heading to Fort Worth, Texas, or Atlanta seems to be good for now, but of course, we'll keep you posted. Washington County is one of those areas seeing winter weather this morning, and that's where we find our Chloe Sausage. She's live for us today. Chloe, where are you seeing? 
Shanta, we're still waiting for the sun to come up right now. Right now, we're not seeing any snow, but just lots of rain coming down. It's been coming down steadily and hard for hours. And I do have to say, the wind is really whipping right now. It's bringing in that cold air. I'm wearing two jackets right now, and I can still feel it. Now, here in Washington, we have not seen any signs of flooding, but authorities are still warning you to stay off the roads if you can, because this rain is bringing some dangerous driving conditions now we will be out here all day looking for any snow that we could possibly find and we'll keep you updated on the latest developments as they come in live in washington chloe saltimeda wjbf news channel six chloe thank you and stay safe out there georgia governor brian kemp has declared a state of emergency for 91 counties due to the winter storm this includes all counties in the area he is urging residents to monitor local weather conditions and stay off the road if possible this morning the Georgia Department of Transportation spent the last two days adding salt to the roads, but have crews on standby today if the roads get bad. South Carolina leaders are ready for today. Governor Henry. We are dealing with very active weather across not only the CSRA, but all of the southeast this morning. So here's another look at satellite and radar. You can see this strong system that we're watching low pressure over Alabama with an occluded front. To the south of us is a warm front that's producing some very gusty winds just to the south of us right now and notice all that rain associated with it all of the csra right now dealing with some storm of some form of precipitation whether that be light rain heavy rain even a mix of snow and rain and even some sleet in our northern counties. so we do have a winter weather advisory still in effect for our northern counties and even into parts of the central csra until 4 p.m today augusta and aiken that even includes you there's the possibility that we could see some of that freezing rain and sleet make it as far south as the augusta and aiken area we also have some wind alerts in place lake wind advisory in effect until 10 a.m tomorrow so this one is in effect for quite some time and that includes the majority of the csra also a regular wind advisory over there for our western counties. This will expire at 2 p.m. today. So as I mentioned with those, we will definitely be seeing those gusty winds, especially as that, that a warm front starts to make its way closer to our area. So notice these winds really picking up over uh, 20 miles per hour. It's possible we could even see gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour until the evening hours tonight. 6 p.m. 6 PM, that's when we will start to have a break from the rain and also those winds will calm down. Now, right now across the CSRA, we're actually above freezing for the most part, 37 degrees in Augusta. A very overcast and rainy day, though. And coming up, we'll have a look at our future cast and all that you can expect for the rest of this Sunday. All right, Jenna, thank you. More than 100 million people on alert across the country because of that free in-home estimate. This is a WJBF Live Viper 6 alert. And here we are on our Sunday morning as we sort of have ourselves some rain and a little bit of winter type precipitation around parts of the CSRA. And again, Live Viper 6 shows a bulk of this rain. We do have a little bit of, I certainly say, maybe some freezing rain mix, maybe a flake or two up into Wilkes County. I'll zoom in a little bit closer. Notice this is rain. You can probably hear it on your roof, the windows. The wind's not helping either. The winds are gusting, and they'll be gusting perhaps up to 40 miles per hour today. So for the most part, this is rain as promised. Then you go to the farther northern part of the CSRA. That's where we have perhaps a little bit of mix. So there's Washington. There's Tyndall into Wilkes County, Lincoln County, McCormick. There is northern part of Edgefield County and Saluda County. I think this is where we could certainly have some freezing rain, some sleep potential, uh, even into McDuffie County. And I would even say maybe a little smidge of northern Columbia County uh, as well. That will continue to move off towards the north. All of this is rain from Burke County. There's Millen. And all of this into Aiken. Right now, Aiken, you have all rain at this point. I do think you'll get a little bit of freezing rain coming up here in just a bit as well. Here's our winter weather advisory. This is until 4 o'clock for all the counties shaded in purple. 4 o'clock this afternoon. I don't think that it'll go to 4 because I think we'll be done with all this coming up by afternoon. Wind advisories. We have a lake wind advisory for all the counties shaded here in the beige and in the blue here. This is a general wind advisory. I would sort of just surmise that it's going to be windy. As again, we're going to have gusts up to about 40 miles per hour throughout the day. Temperatures are extremely important. We're at 37 at Bush Field. Notice low 30s here. Washington 34, Lincoln to 35. That's about mid 30s. 
you can have a flake or two at uh, 33, 34 degrees. It would be very wet flake, I'll promise you that. I'm not expecting much snow here, but I certainly think this would be an opportunity, maybe a flake or two. Once you're near McCormick and Edgefield, this is where this would be freezing rain, because temperatures are everything when it comes to the type of precipitation. And Jim will have more on that later on this morning. Wind chills, this is where we're at with wind chills at this point. Is uh, Again, you add the wind and the temperature, that's the issue. So. This is the latest with this storm. Jenna now has more information on what we can expect for the rest of today into tonight. Jenna. Yeah, thank you, Tim. So here's a look at satellite and radar. We're watching this very strong low pressure system that's bringing all this rain across not only the CSRA, but all of the southeast. Notice that low pressure centered over Alabama right now and all the winter precipitation just to the north of our area. Parts of our northern county getting a winter weather advisory. This is a Bipper 6 alert. Two winter weather advisory events are in effect. One, Columbia, Lincoln, McDuffie, Richmond, and Georgia until four midnight today. And two, Taliaferro and Wilkes and Georgia until 12 midnight tomorrow. Three, Aiken, Hatchfield, McCormick, and Saudita in South Carolina until four midnight today. Be prepared for potentially hazardous conditions due to snow and cold, including loss of electrical power. If traveling, pack a blanket, food, and water as a precaution. Download the Bipper 6 weather app and go to WJBF. Call for important weather information. Winter weather advisory. This is a Bipper 6 alert. Two winter weather advisory events are in effect. One, Columbia, Lincoln. McDuffie, Richmond, and Georgia until 4, midnight today. And 2, Taliaferro and Wilkes and Georgia until 12, midnight tomorrow. 3, Higgin, Hatchfield, McCormick, and Saudita in South Carolina until 4, midnight today. Be prepared for potentially hazardous conditions due to snow and cold, including loss of electrical power. If traveling, pack a blanket, food, and water as a precaution. Download the Bipper 6 weather app and go to WJBF. Call for important weather information. As we saw just a couple weeks ago, just with rain and winds, we could have a lot of power outages and some trees down. So keep that in mind, even if you're not in that area impacted by the icy weather. So here's a look at our 10 day forecast. Viper 6 alert day today, 100% chance of rain. In some form, you'll be getting at least rain across the entire area but for monday the sun will come back out on martin luther king day sunny and windy though those winds will stay consistent just under 30 miles per hour sunny skies on tuesday as well and notice it's a pretty cool week we're staying in the 50s as highs lows will be below freezing over the next couple of days as we go into wednesday evening that's when we'll begin to track our next system and rain chances are going up especially into Friday. So we'll keep a close eye on that and keep you updated. But let's get through the rest of today and we'll give you more updates on that later on in the start of next week. We'll be right back.